would still assume that most policymakers are still fairly rational people, so they should also make the same conclusions. Oh, you're, you're, you're making a weird assumption. I, I know a lot of politicians. I've never met one who I would say was rational. They're power lusters. They want, the people who go into politics want to control you. The kind of people we elect to politics are the kind of people we want to control. They want to manipulate. They want to be overlords. That's their psychology. That's who they are. That's why you know, it's very rare to meet a happy politician. Um, it's because they're not motivated by, by good virtues. They're not motivated by good stuff. They're motivated by bad stuff. They're about power. They're not about truth. They're not about truth. I don't know a politician who's about truth. I mean, there might be. There are exceptions. They're here and there. There are a few. I'm not a big Ron Paul fan for a variety of reasons. Uh, and, I, and I don't think he is. No, if you look at politicians, what they're about. If you look at, if you look at uh, Hillary Clinton, what did she want? She wanted power. Did she believe in anything? Really believe in anything? No. She wanted power. She loves the idea of being president of the United States and be able to pull strings and manipulate you guys. That's what she, that's what she gets her kicks out of. Not healthy kicks, not happiness. Kicks, you know, perverted kicks. The whole climate debate, the whole yeah. climate debate is not about facts. Or yeah, this it's stuff about is not about facts. Politicians spending your money on, on all crazy things. It's not about facts. It's not about them wanting to know. It's not about science. They, you know, they're not interested in these things. No, that's what I tried to explain. I tried to explain that selfishness is exactly the opposite of that. Selfishness is about being rational and pursuing rational values, values that actually enhance human life. And power does not. Power over other people does not enhance your life. It actually makes your life worse, not better. Uh, power over reality, over your reality, being able to control your situation, that gives you, gives you self-esteem. But, but if you, you are a self-respecting human being, then you have to respect other people. Because other people need to be self-respecting human beings as well. Having power over them is demeaning to them and by definition demeaning to you. You can't have, I can't say self-respect is important universally, but only I should have it. That's nuts. If you believe self-respect is a universal value, Right? Reason is a universal value. Then you have to respect it in every human being around you. And abusing other people undercuts your very argument about self-respect. So you can't even respect yourself. This is why people who are powerless, this, again, are not flourishing human beings. But then you should also respect people who are irrational, right? Yeah, I respect them. I leave them alone. I, I, I just don't want to, if they're irrational, they have no value to me because they're not creating values right for me. So I leave them alone. I have no interest in them. It's not that I disrespect them or I, 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 I do bad things to them. I just, they're not affecting me. And, and therefore, I leave them alone. But don't expect me to fund them. Don't take my money and give it to them. Right? If they choose to be rational, fine. Let them go and live their lives. So I, I'm not insisting everybody live like me. I'd like them to. I think it's good for you. But you can live your own life as long as you don't expect me to subsidize it. <laughs>